No, no, I want it. Hello, tout le monde. Hi, everybody. So we're here to show you a cute little technique, fun and easy. C'est une technique vraiment fun puis facile. It's our first technique Tuesday. It's our first Mardi Machine Truc. C'est our première technique Tuesday. And we're going to give it a shot and see what you think about it. I am going to show you a technique that was used for making these. Some people got to try it at National Scrapbook Day. And this is a technique that I learned with Hero Arts. Let's see if we can get some more people on and then we'll be able to show you. Okay. Them. But for now, we've got a big sale going on. We do, we back. have a big sale going on. Don't forget to come by. On a une grosse, une grande vente. Puis oublie pas de venir voir. Lots of stuff. At amazing, amazing prices. All those boxes on the table as well. All these tables here. And the cardstock is back, the AC cardstock. So big sale going on. Definitely come check it out. Oh, we've got all three DNs. Oh, so then we're prêt à partir. Okay, Maeve is here as well. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. Hi, tuning everybody. In. So let's just show these again quickly. So we're gonna do a quick technique with the Hero Arts watercolors. So these are Hero Arts watercolors. C'est les aquarelles liquides de Hero Arts. Ça vient dans, je pense, huit ou dix couleurs. Je l'ai en, en stock au moment. Aujourd'hui, je vais utiliser le mauve puis le bleu. On a fait cette technique à la Journée nationale de collimage la semaine passée. Puis, on a eu des très bons euh, commentaires. Puis, c'est facile, facile, mais vraiment spécial de le faire. Donc, je vais vous montrer ça. C'est notre uh, première fois à faire une technique avec vous autres. Donc, s'il vous plaît, si vous avez des questions, ne hésitez pas à demander et aussi nous donner les commentaires si vous voulez continuer avec des petits mini techniques comme ça. Je vais pas compléter une carte. So, what I have just said is uh, it's going to be our first technique with the Hero Arts watercolors and believe it or not, shaving cream, crème à la barbe. And I'm gonna show you this technique. And then if you have any questions, please ask us. And also give us a little bit of feedback if this is something you'd like to see more regularly because we're giving it a shot and we just wanna see if you guys are gonna love it or you know, just stick to our This Just In Thursdays. Woohoo, Ch Technique Tuesday. And yes, we will be back on Thursday for our regular Thursday we video. We will. But let us know if you guys wanna see more Technique Tuesday type of deals. I, hi, Hélène Trottier. Uh, Lamia says bonjour, Christine Chaplot, Nancy Gordon, Chastity Atkins. Hi, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. Bonjour Let us know if this is something that you that you like when we... Uh, so Donc, let's get into it. Donc, voilà les pochoirs de Joggles. J'aime ceux-là parce que c'est un motif qui répète. Donc, ceux-là étaient utilisés pour ceux-là. Ceux-là, j'ai pas le stencil, en est tout vendu. Je m'excuse. Et ceux-là, ici... Ah, sont pris ensemble. Ok, I might. Voilà. Et cela a été fait avec ça. Maintenant, je vais vous montrer ce que j'ai fait. J'ai mis la crème à la barbe sur une assiette. Puis maintenant, je vais prendre les gouttes. So here I, I've put some shaving cream on a plate, and I'm going to put a couple of drops. So I'm going to do blue and purple. The more color you put, c'est vraiment intense cette couleur. Donc, le plus que tu le mets, le plus de couleur tu vas avoir sur ton, uh, ton projet fini. So, the more color you put, the more you're going to have, and the longer it's going to last that you can do more of them. And this one, I'm just going to do in one color, just so that we can have the look. You can see that it could be done with one, two, three colors. Deux couleurs. Deux couleurs ici, puis ici, ici, just un ici. couleur ici. Oh, and our première question, Diane Bourassa demande, c'est quoi la crème? C'est juste la crème à la barbe. J'ai acheté au Dollarama, vraiment juste un peu de crème à la barbe. C'est une technique vraiment facile et pas dispendue. Maintenant, je vais prendre un palette knife, un couteau, puis je vais faire des swirls dans ma crème. Regarde, je fais juste comme les chiffres 8. So I'm just making number 8s in here and just swirling it up. 
so that we've got that color mixed in. Wherever I see a lot of color, I'm just gonna mix it in so that we have two colors. That's that one. My single color, we're just gonna have monochromatic, you see? We're just gonna have the one color. And again, I'm just swirling in the color. Now, what's the ooh-ah gonna be here? Let's see. Hi, Linda. Hi, Francine. Hi, Angela. Hi, Nancy. Okay, so now I'm just taking a piece of Nina paper. La carton Nina, written me onze, just ordinaire. Je vais mettre ma pachoire dessus, juste comme ça. Je peux le mettre la tape, mais j'ai oublié de, de prendre la tape. Je peux mettre la tape. Ceux-là, tu vas le voir, ça va bouger un petit peu parce qu'il y a tous les petits euh, morceaux fins. Hmm, Peut-être que je vais essayer avec la fleur parce qu'on n'a pas vu ceux-là. OK. Regarde. Je prends un peu de ma crème, juste comme ça. Puis regarde, je fais juste ça dessus. Je veux que ça rentre complètement dans les trous de pochoir. J'ai pas besoin beaucoup. Moi, j'ai mis trop. So I put this on the stencil and I really don't need this much. So I'm really going to wipe it off. Just a thin coat on a top. A thin coat. You just want to make sure you got it in all the places. And it doesn't look like I got a lot of color there. So I'm going to try and pick up a tiny bit more color so that we get a bit more purple. And I know the waiting is killing me too. Mm -hmm. Okay, j'enlève ça comme ça. Because you really just need a thin, thin coat. I'm gonna. <gasps> and look at that. Beautiful, eh? But you wait. You guys can see the color in there. Mais maintenant, la crème à la barbe est encore là. Donc, check ce que je fais. Maintenant, je prends mon couteau, puis j'enlève la crème à la barbe. Complètement. Et garde comme la couleur est transférée. Maintenant, il n'y a rien. C'est juste mon papier là. Puis garde, j'ai fait une fond de carte. Isn't that cool? Now we're going to get the oohs and ahs. Oh, we have another question. Is it watercolor paper or just cardstock? Just regular cardstock. Because I'm not really doing a watercolor technique. Donc, quelqu'un a demandé si c'est le papier aquarelle. Et comme je ne fais pas une technique aquarellable, au moment, je n'ai pas besoin d'un papier de aquarelle. Si je veux bouger la couleur un petit peu, if I wanted to move the color around with some water, yes, I would only do that on watercolor paper. But this just gives you a beautiful result. Should we see that again? Yes, let's see it again. Thanks, Nancy, for your question. And everyone saying the oohs and ahs and nice and awesome. And, and so now, easy. Now the shaving cream is completely off. There's no shaving. Look, there's it's nothing dry on now. there. It's completely like magic. dry. It's like magic. So now I'm going to show you with this one and the just the purple. Hi, Kim. Hi, Michelle. Oh, uh, Kim knows this one. I showed her, and then she came and joined us and so graciously did our make and takes. So it's Kim who made those three cards that I showed you there. So now we're going to do it just with purple. Kim did just blue, but I'm a purple girl, Ooh. as we know. Me too. So I'm putting it on again. And again, the more color I've used, the more I'm going to see color. Donc, so, ça dépend si vous aimez monochromatique ou avec quelques couleurs. So, people can put, the more of this you put in, the more color is going to show? More or less. The more that you pick up on here, because I had put quite a few drops. So, you, you want to put enough that you're going to see some color. I see that we're going to have big spots of purple here. Oh, we have another question. La yes. Mia Soularian oui. demande pendant combien de temps on peut garder la crème mélangée avec la peinture? Ça, c'est une bonne question, Lamia, et j'ai pas essayé. Donc, euh, nous autres, on l'a jeté, mais je sais que Kim a, a fait le make and take pendant toute l'après-midi, puis elle a gardé ses assiettes. Puis après qu'elle est partie, on l'a laissé là, puis moi, j'ai revenu avec la monde probablement deux, trois heures plus tard, puis j'ai utilisé encore. Mais je pense que je ne vais pas laisser, laisser toute la soirée comme pour la prochaine jour, parce que peut-être ça va faire l'évaporation. Yeah. Donc, je ne peux pas te garantir ça. 
So maybe just put a, a little bit. But of feel free to try. Si vous essayez une fois, puis laisse dans un petit Tupperware ou quelque chose, oui, dis-moi et retourne à nous autres, puis nous dis si tu as trouvé que ça, ça faisait, ça marchait. Donc, wow. look at that, a beautiful pattern. Oh, so cool. Okay, and then again, I'm just going to clean off my knife. Donc, maintenant, il y a la crème à la barbe dessus. Mais, again. tout de suite que je prends mon couteau, et voilà, il est tout parti. Et ça devient sec tout de suite. So it dries right away. It's really Look such a cool technique. You get this really cool marble effect and everything. Oh, Lise Siriani demande quel type de l'encre? C'est une encre aquarelle liquide de Hero Arts. Je sais que Avriel, il fait cela aussi. Uh, différentes couleurs. Oui. Donc, j'ai apporté les différentes couleurs qu'il qu a. Et peut-être je peux faire une goutte sur une assiette pour te montrer la couleur. La oui. couleur. OK? Donc, voilà. Je vais faire ça vite. Pas pour faire la technique, mais garde. Ça, c'est une verre. Oups! Come on, come on! <rire> Donc, ça, c'est verre... Hmm, pas de nom? Usually on the back, moss. Vert moss. Moss green. Ça, c'est noir. On sait tout à quoi ça a l'air. But that's black. Oh, I want to do one in black and white. I love black oh, and white. Cool. We're going to have to just keep playing here. This one is another green. Deanne Cliff says must smell good, too. It does smell She's good. She's right. The shaving cream smells that's good. That's pine green over here. Then this is what the yellow, because I find in the bottle it doesn't give you a good look. Yeah, I do. That's the yellow. Look how bright that is. Noemi says, love your live shows. Lots of good info. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks for tuning Mold in. Mulled wine. That's come in Bourgogne un petit peu. Uh, Nancy Gordon has another question. Can you do the same thing with ink drops? I haven't tried that yet. I have had a couple of people ask me. So um, I... I definitely encourage people to try it. I just think that this might be more intense. I was thinking maybe of using um, re-inkers, like distress re-inkers, stuff like that. I'd be curious if that would work. I haven't seen it done yet. Uh, but this one, I love the intensity of these mm -hmm. colors. So this last one was antique brown. So we will test out a few other things, but this was the class I took with Hero Arts, so I really wanted to show you. I have a feeling if I mix these colors together, it's going to get brown because uh, some of these colors don't go together. Let's just get another but look at for the fun works. of it, I'm going to do a little one. Uh, with that, just with, with all this, that mix? With all this color. All right, let's do it. I'll show you while I don't she's know. mixing that I up. I mixed it enough. While well, she's mixing that up, here's another look at this one. Look how beautiful that one turned out. I'll and try again, using they dry this one. right away. I'll try using this one and we'll see for the fun of it. Hmm, let's take some we'll color from here and see out. what happens if I end up with just a mess. <laughs> it's possible we'll just end up with brown. But that was a lot of colors you put this together. This is a lot of color. And not necessarily colors that always that go, go together, together. <laughs> very much. So we could end up with something pretty ugly. I want to see that black and white one. Though. I do too. I think I might have I to think do that. that's going to have to be the last one. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's not it's so bad. Interesting. What do you guys think? That's interesting for the amount of colors that was put in there. That's pretty cool. Let's cool, see yeah. what it's going to look like when we finish. Okay, so maintenant j'enlève la crème à la barbe. Et on va voir nos couleurs. Wow! Wow! Hmm. Il peut trop laid! Not bad at all. Oh, yeah, the DM blend just said not bad. Yeah! Not bad. Mais garde, c'est vraiment une technique. Moi, j'aime beaucoup cette pochoir. Garde le, la look de cette pochoir-là. I love this stencil. But it's so easy. It's and so look, easy. what just have we been on? Five, ten minutes? Yeah. And look at this. Already done three. Okay, and the last one we're going to try, we just have to because black we have to, white. is we black, and white. black and white. Right, guys? Est-ce qu'il y a des autres qui aiment noir et blanc comme moi? I'm sure. I'm sure we have lots of black and white lovers. Okay, more, I, just, I just find it has such a good contrast. 
Last one, and I'm not putting out a lot of shaving cream because I don't think we need that much. Yes, and that's a solution if you're worried about leaving it out, is just put, just a, put less. Just put a little bit Il faut less. Il ne faut pas mettre trop. Ça dépend combien de cartes que tu vas le faire. Diane Blain and Hélène Trottier both, both agree with you. And the noir et blanc aussi, la couleur. So let's see. How is this going to look? While you're mixing, just another quick question from Noemi. What type of cardstock are you using? 65 uh, L LBS or 100? No. Uh, actually, it's 80. Nina, 80 okay. pound. Oh, look at Could this. Could it be used with the other weights of cardstock? You can, but usually for a card front, we like to use um, an 80 pound Nina. It's what a lot of people have in their stash already. But if you want it, you're saying to try it on regular like basil cardstock. Uh, I haven't tried it on the textured cardstock, so I guess it would. So this is smooth. It would right? depend. It's this is smooth. smooth. So I have one other stencil here from Joggles that we pulled out. Let's try this one just to have another look. Yeah, so definitely anyone asking questions about other things that can work, definitely try them out and let us know. And you might give me ideas yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so here, let's pick up the black and white and see if we just end up with gray or if we can keep it black and white. Let's see if they'll stay. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Hard to say. We might just end up with gray. Diane Pilon dit, je manquais le début. Oh, c'est pas de problème. Tout ça va être uh, posté sur Facebook. Oui. Quand c'est fini, uh, vous pouvez rega re regarder. C'est même comme nos vidéos de jeudi. Oui. Tu peux les regarder n'importe quand, puis ça va rester là sur Facebook. OK. Let's see our black and white. Oh, so far, it looks nice. Yeah. Parce qu'on a des, des teintes de gris aussi. It gets a little bit gray. It does definitely. get a little gray. Because you can see the part you used is very gray compared so to let's the see. marble. All right, we're taking off again. Oh. oh, when you take it off. It gets even darker. Yeah. Donc, ça devient encore plus intense quand I on enlève like la crème à la barbe. Diane Bourassa says, yes, j'adore. <laughs> Donc, it's très facile. So quick. Très facile. Puis, comme tu as vu avec les cartes ici, like you saw with Kim's cards, all she, she put a beautiful little feather on there with a little sentiment, and your card's and you're done. done. Yeah. Vraiment facile. Vous pouvez faire comme un dizaine dans cinq minutes. Yeah. And it doesn't look like you did them in five minutes. No. It really, people go, wow, how'd you do that? So look at all these look different these. ones that we did in just a few minutes. And so easy. Again, it's with the watercolor, Hero Arts watercolors, thanks to Libby. C'est elle que j'ai suivi le cours avec uh, de Hero Arts, and she showed me this technique, and I absolutely love them. They're definitely, you can definitely use these on your mat and just pick it up and color with it and paint with it, but I thought this was a very original technique. So I really hope you enjoyed that. If you have any other questions, yes, let, yes, us, let know. us know. And if we're already off live, when you think of more questions, just put, put them, them in the on comments. there because I will check. So, si vous avez des autres questions, ne hésitez pas à demander, même si la vidéo est finie, parce que je reviens check toutes les commentaires plus tard. Uh, les aquarelles sont en stock au moment. Il n'y a pas de problème. Just le, remind us the type of paper you Le use carton one more time. Nina. 80 leaves. So this is Nina cardstock. This is our basic stamping cardstock that we keep in the store at all times. So I just use this. Whoops. <laughs> the reason I didn't use um, a watercolor paper is because we weren't doing a watercolor technique. So you see, you can just put it on yeah, and you can just do a background. You get all sorts of but designs. But what I thought was cool was the fact that we could get a stencil. Yeah. So you can get any one of your stenciled amount. Um, stencils through there and yes. get a nice background but this technique is just the technique for dyeing paper i don't know what makes it work with the shaving cream but it's like, but magic. It's like magic you right. just take the shaving cream off and the color transfers and i could just sit and play in shaving Forever. cream all day <laughs> oui, Diane, on, on va le mettre tous les, uh, pochoirs à côté pour vous. Oui. Um, just going to make sure there's no more questions. Yes, so guys, let us know. It looks like a lot of you guys are asking for more demo videos. So, so continue to let us know. Si vous pensez que vous voulez un mini technique comme ça chaque semaine, j'ai aucun problème. Chaque semaine, chaque semaine. Oui. 
on va toujours mettre une annonce quand on fait une petite vidéo comme ça. Chaque fois que j'ai quelque chose de nouveau à vous montrer, j'aimerais vous partager. So every time I have a little new something that I could show you, I'd love to share it with you. So just let us know if that was uh, something you enjoyed. One more question from Angela. Uh, can you layer it? I don't think so. Should we give it a try? Should we do but it? But don't blame me if it if, if it, it comes work. out not nice looking. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so let's try. You, I so will this take is, this. This is so this how you say. learn. That's how you learn. Okay. Now, I'm gonna quickly because someone Did got I just a little put, shaving wait. cream on her nose, <laughs> and you don't need to shave your nose. So you're Je vais okay. mettre un peu de couleur de bleu sur la mauve, puis on va voir si ça va complètement couvrir. Ce qu'on a déjà fait. Et oui, But it was a good question. Yes. Et oui, Véronique, ça, ça sèche tout de suite après quand oui. on enlève le Ah oui, le, euh, complètement. Crème à la barbe. Donc, je vais enlever ceux-là, puis on va voir qu'est-ce qui arrive. So, Did let you me... put it with the same stencil or... Oh, you put a different stencil I put stencil a different on stencil okay. on top. Yeah. So let's try to take so it off. So let's take it off. You just got to clean off. One of, yeah, I got to clean off one palette knife. And let's see what happens. So yes, you can layer, but you lose your you, you lose your image. Yes. You Moi, can. je trouve on a perdu l'image. A little bit. Little Donc, peut-être si vous avez un pochoir comme les lignes, vous pouvez faire un couche de une couleur, tourne la ligne yeah. qui fait une autre. Yeah, à ce temps-là, probablement. Mais comme ceux-là, ces pochoirs étaient complètement différents. Je trouve qu'on a perdu. Busy. Yeah. Ce on a fait en dessous. Gets a little bit busy if it's two very big patterns. So yeah, so I think if you had a lined stencil and then you turned it and then you did it again, that could probably work and you'd have a beautiful uh, layering effect. But otherwise you'd have to be very careful of what kind of stencils you use. Because I can still see the blue on top of the purple, but because the stencils don't really go together, I feel that we're losing it. Yeah, it's a bit busy. It gets, you lose the pattern. But thanks for your great questions. I really thank you for tuning in. And I hope to have another video for you soon. And don't forget Thursday at 4 o'clock for our this, this Just In. Yes, we'll be back for that one. So let us know what you guys thought of this. And thanks so much for tuning in to our Bye. first Technique Tuesday. Mardi, Mardi Machine, machine Truc. Merci, bye-bye. Thank you, merci.